Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to this video, guys. Um, hopefully, by now, you've watched my other mining videos. This is an update to <clears throat> the Better Hash um, mining video. Um, so, I haven't been using Better Hash that long um, since I made that video, or very often. But I wanted to make this video and say why better hash i think it's better um it's just kind of funny better hash no pun intended um why i think it's better and why i think you should be using it over nice hash okay so let me just sign in here um to nice hash because i'm going to kind of show you guys a few things um and how it works okay so we're on the better hash site i think Here's my first couple of reasonings, okay? Uh, reasons. Um, Better Hash offers it, so it's a little more advanced, as like, and it's not as user friendly on the website. It's not like really hard to understand, but it's not so user friendly as like. Whereas this is really easy to use, like really easy. Um, and I, I give props to Nice Hash for that, but. At the end of the day, on nice hash, you are only mining for Bitcoin, and that is it. Okay, you're not mining Bitcoin, you're mining algorithms, and then they pay you in Bitcoin. So if I mine Ravencoin a dollar a day, I'm only getting a dollar a day in Bitcoin. And whereas on better hash, as you can see here, we can mine <clears throat> this is CPU Monero. Uh, Zcash, Ethereum, and and you would be mining probably all these algorithms or more on NiceHash, but you're not going to be able to get what my next point is, is all these different coins that maybe you want to stack up. Maybe you think that you should have Ethereum, or maybe you think you want Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold, and <clears throat> maybe you believe in that coin. Maybe you believe in Ravencoin that someday it's going to go past the cent. Um, and some people do, and it's a very good coin to have, I feel like. Uh, I feel like Ravencoin is very successful. So, you know, um, in that aspect, I feel like it's better. I do, I have tested this, and I do feel like you make more on NiceHash, um, than BetterHash. Now, <clears throat> where that's mistaken is... I don't know because I don't convert on better hash not at least yet um, to Bitcoin to see but I mean obviously it shows you um, this is over the span of a couple of days I'm gonna say three four days um, I feel like I mind a little more money on nice hash but I'm not sure I don't know with the pricing changes right now and what it's looking like um, but personally what I want to do is I want to kind of stack some ethereum and maybe some Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin. And <clears throat> this is where it's great because you have these features like Bitcoin Auto Exchange. You literally click this, it auto exchanges your Bitcoin, all your coins into Bitcoin. Okay. If you ever want to turn it off, you can. And then you just set up your wallet. There you go. And you set it to withdraw whenever it's at the minimum. And that's it. It's real simple. And if, say, the next day, say you bind a little bit, uh, maybe like three or four days on algorithms, and you withdrew the coins into a wallet, and then you wanted to just mine Bitcoin, you just click it on, and you're good to go. <clears throat> now, there's a thing, there's a couple things here I want to talk about. So I don't think there's a fee when you transfer Bitcoin on NiceHash, like, or on BetterHash, like on NiceHash. Um, or, oh, okay, there is, a, there is a withdrawal fee. Um, but I don't know if that replies. See, that doesn't. So if you do it to Coinbase, no, there is no, there is not a um, <clears throat> transfer fee. But if you do it on here, um, just to give you guys an example, Ravencoin. Okay. <clears throat> so Ravencoin's at like a cent right now or something like that. It's like worth a cent a coin, right? So right now I have three dollars and sixty-three cents worth of coins. Yeah. Holy shit, I can't do math. So, um, just to show you guys, so you, like you're not like, man, I don't want these fees. These fees are going to be huge. It's going to kill me when I do Ethereum. It really doesn't, guys. If you want, look, 
So the minimum transfer is one Raven coin, which is, let me just say, very easy to make. <laughs> it's very fast. As long as you have a decent computer, yes, you will easily make one Raven coin. Um, <clears throat> the estimated fee is 0 .002. 0 .002 is like, dude, it's like, just think about that. One Raven coin is worth one cent. 0 .002 is literally like, what, two thousandths of a penny? I don't even know. I don't know right off the top of my head. So, you're not, like, even though you see that there's a there's a fee here and it's annoying, I mean, it is a little more for, I guess, for some other coins here. Like, granted, it is point one, But, I mean, what I would do if I was you is maybe stack it up a little bit, you know, because with cryptocurrency, we're all, most of us, I'd say most of us, are just trying to stack it. You know what I mean? So that way when the price goes up, we have more. We can sell if we want to or wait for the price to keep going up or come back down even. <clears throat> so, you know, if, if if the fee, if the transfer, here's the thing. So if you're, if you're scared to do this and you're like, man, that transfer fee is going to kill me. Um, look, just stack it up for a little while and then do it. Because it's going to be the same exact transfer fee. Is if I did it when I had 0 .02 or if I had 6. You know, obviously I'm got 6 Ethereum, but you understand what I'm saying. So, better hash versus nice hash. Here we go. The miners, okay? I'm going to pull up the miner for you. I like little things. Little things really get me off, right? And it's probably the same for everybody else, but I do like... The nice hash has the dark mode. That is a feature that I don't. I don't. Maybe they have it. I don't see it here though. But what's really cool about um, better hash is we have start with Windows. Obviously, you can minor start auto application. Now this can be a pain in the ass. I would say no because this is how I do it. Minor start hidden. I don't do that because I want to see if there's any errors or how or how good it's running or what it's supposed to be clocked at. Um, keep me signed into my wallet. Um, that's a good one. You know, uh, prevent PC from entering sleep mode. So that's, you want to have that on, obviously. You don't want your computer to go to sleep. Keep PC uh, on PC when it's allowed, uh, it's not allowed to enter sleep mode. Um, keep the display on. Um, and enhance mining power. I don't know how well the enhanced mining power works. Enable profit switching. Yes, you want that on. You want to be able to make sure that if something hard forks or some kind of crazy shit happens, or if that coin spikes, you want to be mining that shit. So, yes. Um, you know, your payment, you got your advance. So that's a few problem if you don't have... Uh, if it has problems detecting your GPUs, this is what you're going to want to do. And this is really cool. So if you have a schedule where you're on your computer... Say you're doing, I don't know, fucking your taxes. Or if you do, like, businesses through 8, like, say you do it through 8 through 4 p.m. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning till 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. You can um, click this on and then click your hours. What days? It, it would be really nice for someone that's, um, you know, doesn't want to fuck with it um, when they don't have to. Um, this just shows you the activity, obviously. And then we have start. It's it's pretty it's pretty forward. Uh, you run your benchmarks. That's the first thing you would do. So when guys, when you run benchmarks, make sure that you are barely running anything on the computer. And I say that because if I simply have a video open, or if I have like say I have so say we're benchmarking the GPU and I have a video open on YouTube and it's a 4K video. That can be bad um, because it could take a few mega hash away from different algorithms and some could be up and some could be down and then you might be writing the wrong thing. Now that's always not totally correct. It usually will like give you the correct number but it can happen and I've seen it happen with my CPU um, when I was mining stuff on uh, different platforms. So make sure you're just not running stuff just let it run it takes about depending on how much hardware you have you know one gpu one cpu it's probably going to take you 15 minutes um and then you just have follows on twitter and user support so all in all um i don't want this video to be too long and i want to end it here um so I, I i like i like better hash i the only reason i like it really more um 
is going to be honestly just because I can, I can get these coins. These are my coins. You see this Ethereum? That's mine. You know what I mean? This Raven coin? That's mine. I don't have to have automatically Bitcoin. I'm just not mining for Bitcoin. Does that make sense? For Bitcoin. Not, I'm not mining Bitcoin. I'm mining for Bitcoin. So, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I've switched over from Nice Ash. I've had a great time on Nice Ash. I know they've had some problems in the past with hackers and stuff like that, which we're not going to get into. But I love Nice Ash. I have made over $500. Um, that was my last withdrawal on November 1st, which was two days ago. Um, that was my last withdrawal, and I have made over $500 of the Bitcoin on Nice Hash, and it is a great platform. I'm not, I'm not dissing the platform. I love the platform. I think it's awesome, and I probably will go back to it sometime at, at some point. But right now, um, you know, I want to mine some uh, altcoins. You know, I have $500 of the Bitcoin. I can always take these coins and do whatever I want with them. So, yeah, guys, um, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to make a super in-depth video, but right now that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm mining better hash, and I think you guys should, you know, check it out. If you're mining nice hash, give it a try. If you know a little bit about cryptocurrencies and you believe in Mimblewimble coin, or you believe in Raven coin, go mine it. Get some of that coin. You know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of my take on it, so... Okay, guys, if you like this video, please like it up for me. I don't I don't make these videos for money. I, ma I make these videos for people out there that need to learn or want to learn and love the crypto world. And if you guys uh, like the video, then subscribe, please. Um, it, helps, it helps me out because it tells me what I should be making. I see a lot of people on my YouTube um, that are on these cryptocurrency um videos and all my other videos don't get a lot of views at all compared to these mining videos so if you guys liked it please subscribe i will make more mining videos i'll make in-depth mining videos i have a very good um <clears throat> i have a very good thing going with varus coin and i could even talk more in depth about that even though i just made a video about that not long ago so if you guys want to see more please like and subscribe it helps the algorithm it gives me views Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.